Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how to resolve this error. The error is authentication failed for the link, right? How do you resolve that? So this occurs when you try to push check your code and it will ask you for GitHub username and uh, GitHub password. So once you enter, enter the proper credentials also, you will get the error. How to resolve this, guys? For this, you try to navigate to the screen, your profile, click on the profile in the GitHub account, find all this option, set status, your profile, add account, etc. So navigate to, to navigate down. So you have to click on the settings here. So once you click on the settings, guys, you'll get this page. So in the left-hand side, you have to come click on developer settings. So once you click on the developer setting, guys, you'll get this page. Here you have to click on personal access tokens and you have to click on token classic. Here you have to click on generate new token. So generate new token. Here you have to generate new token classic. So once you have got the generate new token classic, this interface will come. In the note, you can write any notes, your token, whatever you want to name. So once you have named that, you can see the expiration date. You can give no expiration that will never expire. So now, now you have to select each and everything. What is the scope here? Okay. So you can select the scope repo. If you want, you can search every click on everything. Workflow, write packages, delete packages, admin or admin public key, admin repo hook, admin organization hook, notifications, user, Daily repo, write discussion, admin inter enterprise, audit log, code space, copilot. You can select everything, guys. Project and all. Click on generate token. So once you click on generate token, you'll get this token. So you have to copy this. So once you copy this, guys, go to the terminal again. Try to push the code. So you enter the username, whatever the username is in the GitHub. And when it asks for the password, give this token. Since you have already copied, just put command V in the Mac or control V in the Windows. It will definitely work. Okay. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.